There he is, Australia's three times world champion, Jeff Fennick, and a super bonus for all boxing fans, not only here at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre, but for boxing fans watching Sky Channel right across Australia. He prepares to make his big comeback and a very special exhibition bout tonight up against Dale Artengo. To tell us more, here's Peter Peters and Grant Lekeza. Thanks, Graham. Well, four three-minute rounds this exhibition, and uh, this is really uh, a great moment for Australian boxing. Jeff Fennick has not been in the ring since he announced his retirement. He's only been in the uh, the training ring. So this is going to uh, give him a big buzz too, up against uh, young Dale Artango, one of the uh, fine young boxers from Queensland. But I saw Jeff Fennick in the, uh, in the uh, gym yesterday, uh, Grantly, and he is looking fabulous. He looks great in there now. Only uh, a few pounds above his uh, boxing uh, weight in for his return fight against Mario Martinez in in uh, Melbourne, of course, and that's coming up next month. It's really a case of the king is back. So Jeff Fennick. Uh Getting set for that great fight with Mario Martinez. We really expect a, a real war when he goes to work with that Mexican tough man that has fought Azuma Nelson twice. And we're going to see a good display of Phoenix skills tonight. OK, let's go for the uh, eloquent voice now of ring announcer Ray Conley. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting a sparring exhibition of four three-minute rounds featuring from the red corner former national lightweight champion, successful in 18 of 20 bouts, 11 by knockout. After two years, he returns to activity in quest of the now welterweight championship. Originally of Papua New Guinea, now of Kingston, Brisbane, Queensland, stylish, Dale Artango. And from the blue corner, his sparring partner, also returning on November the 24th, one month from this evening, in Melbourne's National Tennis Centre, following his successful defence of the WBC featherweight crown against Marcos Villasan, after which bout he announced his retirement. But for the good of Australian boxing, for the acclaim of all in Australia, he has reversed that decision. He is generally acknowledged the greatest boxer this country has spawned. In 23 professional contests, he remains unbeaten. 19 victories have come inside the distance. He has become the International Boxing Federation Bantamweight Champion of the World, the World Boxing Council Super Bantamweight Champion, and the featherweight crown is also in his keeping. He is, in every sense, a natural for where he belongs, and we do welcome back Jeff Fennick. here at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. The champ is back and you're going to see him on November the 24th on the Sky Channel against Mario Martinez. In an exhibition contest or a sparring exhibition but as a precaution to the nature of what these four rounds promise, former Australian welterweight champion Alan Moore will be third man. This says a lot for Jeff Fennick, I think. You know, I mean, Rocky Piratina couldn't get to Brisbane because of the pilot's dispute. And who steps into his into his shoes tonight just to give the fans some extra action on this world title bill tonight? None other than Jeff Fennick. I don't think there's a world champion anywhere in the world that would uh, do what Jeff Fennick's done. I've watched him here in uh, recent days in Brisbane, talking to the young kids in the gymnasium and just giving them all a, uh, a taste of the champion's character. I think Jeff Fennick has grown in stature since that Marcus Villasana fight. Let's sit back now and admire the talents of Australia's greatest ever boxer and it's great to have the champ back in action. Grantley Dale Artengo 
Uh, certainly a very promising youngster. Well, Dale Latango, of course, is on the comeback trail himself, Zorba. He was the Australian lightweight champion a couple of years ago and beat some real class opponents. He beat Commonwealth champ Graham Brook and he beat uh, John Jong Pequing, the Filipino who at one stage was the number one contender for the IBF lightweight title. So he's uh, a real class act. He retired after losing his Australian lightweight title to Lester Ellis. Uh, he became a, uh, a computer whiz, and that's, uh, that's his main career these, these days, is uh, into the marketing and, and sales of computers. But uh, he also wants to give boxing one more shot because he's a great, great talent. In the amateurs, he fought Meldrick Taylor, the Olympic gold medalist and the current IBF junior welterweight champion. Uh, he represented Australia many times as an amateur, but it was as a professional where the Brisbane fans really got to see Dale Otango at his best. OK, Fennec holding back a lot, of course, against uh, Dale, Otang uh, Dale Otango. And, uh, well, he might. It's just a, uh, an exhibition spa for him, but uh, he'll show us just why he's the, uh, the triple world champion through it. And uh, I'm sure Dale Otango uh, will be much better for the experience. What a wonderful opportunity for young Dale Otango to be in there against Australia's greatest ever boxer. And I say that without any uh, hesitation. There have been some great ones, but uh, Jeff Fennec, the Marrick Gilmore, has done it all. Of course, Dale Atango and Jeff Fennick were amateurs together. They boxed on the same amateur teams in the early 1980s. It was Fennick, of course, who kicked on a, a lot further than Dale Atango. But Atango, to his credit, went a long, long way in boxing. He was on the verge of really big things when he chose to defend his Australian title against Lester Ellis. And Ellis, at that time, was on the crest of a wave. He was coming back from uh, that world title loss to Barry Michael and was putting together some impressive victories. And one of them was against Dale Latango. It's Fennec showing there's no love lost. He's unloading some good shots inside of that right hand. He certainly is, and uh, Dale Latango would be thinking just at the moment, I'm, uh, if this is an exhibition, I'd hate to be in there with him. And the champs just showing the fans the combinations are still there and uh, the toughness is there too. And uh, as he goes after Dale Latango and uh, that Fennec elbow very much to the fore there, the back That's there, the trick. around the back too, and the, and the referee, a real smile there uh, from referee Moore. Fennec first used that one uh, against Satoshi Shingaki way back in 1985 when he won his first championship, the IBF Bantamweight title, and it's still a favourite of his. Not quite in the textbook, but he loves to throw that behind the back shot. He certainly does. I notice in the gym he's hitting harder and uh, he certainly doesn't appear to be having any trouble with those hands. The hands, the real reason why Jeffrey Fennec called it a day after fighting Marcus Filosano. There's the end of round one of the exhibition. We'll take a break out of the Brisbane Entertainment Centre and be back in a moment. There's Tommy Radonik, a uh, great face for Queensland and New South Wales, former Australian Rugby League halfback, great mate of uh, Jeff Fennex, and great to see Tommy here at the boxing tonight. And uh, plenty of fans right around the nation will uh, recognise the face of Tommy Radonik. Tommy, of course, Zorba had a great input into the early career of Jeff Fennec. He was his patron in the amateur days, and he was a real inspiration with his uh, tough training for Rugby League up at the Newtown Police Youth Club. It was, it was Tommy that really encouraged Jeff Fennec to Push, push his hardest. And also the promoter of the one and only time that the Sydney Opera House has been used for uh, uh, for boxing. It was banned after that night. It was a real rumble. <laughs> Everyone end, entered the ring after it, including the promoter himself. It was World War Three in that ring, I can tell you. Fantastic night, but it won't happen again. Uh, it'll just uh, uh, thrill to the sound of the opera from now on, not the uh, smacking of leather gloves. What we're seeing is a, a real treat for boxing fans, Zuba, throughout Australia and around the world. You know, we've seen Jeff Fennick fight before on Sky Channel, but now we're seeing him in a sparring session, and that's a, a fascinating experience. For all those people uh, around the world who've only seen Jeff Fennec fight a couple of times, you know, I really hope you're enjoying seeing the, a master at work. Uh, Fennec still hasn't uh, brought everybody onto his side. There's a, a recent article in an American magazine. I hope Jeff Ryan's watching this, this telecast in New York. He calls Fennec uh, a face-first brawler. Well, I think Fennec is showing here that uh, he's really got all the skills. There he is, just rope-a-doping Dale Latango. Well, he's 23-0, and 0, and if he can do any better than that, I'm a skinny Chinaman instead of a fat Greek. But uh, anyway, they'll soon work out Jeff Fennec whenever they get the opportunity. If they do, he's one champion that hasn't had to go to the United States to build his reputation. I can uh, uh, tell our viewers right around the nation in, the final, in their favourite uh, pub or Sky Channel outlet in their favourite club 
around the nation that uh, uh, that Bob Arum, one of the great promoters in the world, thinks that Fennec is uh, pound for pound one of the greatest boxers, one of the two greatest boxers in the world today. And uh, that obviously puts him in the same class, pound for pound, as the indestructible Iron Man, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson himself also has a very, very high opinion of Jeff Fennick. They are quite good friends. Whenever Fennick visits America, he always looks Tyson up. And uh, they sat together when Harding defeated Andrees. He's been so popular here in Brisbane uh, during the last week in assisting uh, Jeff Harding prepare for this fight mentally and uh, also in the gymnasium. Of course, Fennick only a month away, November 24th, from his return to the ring against Mario Martinez. And uh, that's going to be a heck of a fight. Fennick right now against Dalo Tango. Jeff Fennick in the 4X Colony Collision card tonight, wearing the 4X T-shirt. What a great night for boxing tonight. And a very special thank you to Dion's Bridal Design Studio. They've provided the great outfits for the lovely ringside girls here tonight. Julie's in purple. Janelle in pink and Cynthia in blue and later on we'll be uh, hearing the sweet tones of Karen Jacobson prior to the Colony Collision tonight between Jeff Harding and Tom Collins. That's all coming your way tonight on Sky's fabulous Colony Collision. We'll take a break and be back for round three of the exhibition. It's there. there he is, Tommy Radonikas in the corner of Jeffrey Fennec. Fennec uh, tonight wearing the headgear and uh, so too is Dale Artango. Yeah. That's a plus in exhibition. And with Tommy, of course, is Peter Matreski, who we just saw win the Australian flyweight title a couple of weeks ago in Gosford. Wow. His third Australian title. Another guy who benefited greatly from the experience of Tommy Radonikas. Yeah, just eight days ago at the Central Coast League Club. So we're moving around Australia to bring you all the great fights on Sky Channel, Forex, Bill Morty's classic promotions and and your boxing channel, Sky Channel. Hope you're enjoying the action tonight and a very special hi to all the people down in uh, New South Wales, throughout the leagues clubs, throughout the, uh, the state, particularly uh, uh, in the metropolitan area of Sydney. Uh, they're right behind Jeff the Hitman Harding, uh, receiving a host of telegrams today from right around the country. And uh, right now we're in the third round of a four round exhibition between Dale Artengo of Queensland and the one and only, yep, if you've just joined us in the yellow t-shirt with the headgear on, if you think it is him, the champ, it is. It's Jeffrey Fennec back in action here at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. Look at the flashing hands at the moment as he just steps up the pace against uh, Dale Artango. Fennec been training the house down in Brisbane over the past nine or ten days. Well, of course, tonight is the Jeff Harding show, Zorb, but uh, Jeff Fennec is a star performer in his own right, and he's really captivated these Brisbane fans. They gave him a terrific reception today at the official weigh-in, and they gave him a tremendous roar when he came down the aisle here tonight, almost like the, the king returning to battle. And uh, Dale Artango, he said before the, th this exhibition that he was going to treat it just like a fight, even though Rocky Piratina wasn't able to compete in this bout, he was going to treat this sparring session with Jeff Fennec just as he would a real fight. Well, so far, Dale Atango is way behind on points. Well, he would be, uh, but you'd expect that, wouldn't you? I think the kid's done ma marvellously well to even uh, still be on his feet at the moment, the punishment that, uh, that Fennec has handed out. But as I said, Fennec holding back more than a little uh, for most of this uh, sparring session, and well, he might. You see the tremendous strength of Fennec. This has really been the factor that has made him such a great champion. Despite the skills and despite the power punching, it's that ferocious strength and that ability to just push and shove opponents around. There he is in Dale Atango, who's around 11 stone. He's uh, come back as a welterweight junior middleweight. Fennec right now wouldn't be any more, I wouldn't think, than, than lightweight, say 135 pounds, and yet he is able to just dictate the pace against this bigger opponent. He's so strong, isn't he, Grantley? And that's been uh, that's been his main asset throughout his boxing career. 23 and 0, 19 knockouts. What a marvel! Marvellous record for Jeff Fennec. Normally, I don't like to see boxers come back, but I don't feel as though Fennec has been away. I mean, it uh, is not a long layoff. His hands are obviously a lot better, and uh, he's certainly testing them right out tonight. Coming towards the end of round three of uh, the scheduled four three-minute round exhibition, Jeff Fennec putting the beautiful, sweet combination of left and right together. Dale Tango comes back with a right. 12 seconds to go in the round. Even though this has just been a sparring session, Peter, Dale Tango has taken a lot of clean shots on the chin really hard right hands Phoenix nailed nailed him with okay coming up to the end of the round now Dale Artango now has the champ on the race there's the end of round three they touch gloves we'll take a break and be back for the final round of the exhibition 
let's replay some of the action from round three and look at the style of Australia's greatest champion, Jeff Fennick. Fennick covering up, saying, come on, Dale, you can have a few shots. Goes to the body, Dale Otango, and uh, Jeff Fennick covering right up there, covering good defensive work, but Otango getting one through. Fennick comes straight back and says, you shouldn't have done that. Left and right. Here we go for the final round of the four-round exhibition. Dale Artango in the black shorts, Jeff Fennick with the guard and with the Forex Colony Collision T-shirt on tonight. Another treat coming your way after this exhibition and it's going to feature the great American light heavyweight and that is Matthew Saad Mohammed against the local boy Kevin Wagstaff. Coming your way shortly on a tremendous card here tonight and of course culminating in the fight that all Australia and a lot of overseas countries are waiting for, particularly uh, viewers in Great Britain and America and it's going to be a marvellous fight between Tom the Bomb Collins, the challenge from Leeds in England against Jeff the Hitman Harding, the WBC light heavyweight championship of the world coming your way live from the Brisbane Entertainment Centre. And it has really made Dale Atango earn his money right the way throughout this sparring session. You know, Fennick never goes easy on, on guys in these situations and he has really banged away at Dale Atango. He's decided that if Atango wants to treat this as a fight, he'll give him a fight and he is maybe not going at 100%, that's for sure, but he's still really shaking Dale Atango up with some of those body shots and the throw him across to the chin oh, just as he did there. Right there. Atango, though, I've got to give him a lot of credit. He's uh, certainly hit the champ with some shots for Fennec coming back there, hitting very strongly, and... Uh, uh, Dale Artango towards uh, uh, the end of this round four will be very, very happy that uh, that's all it was. Four three-minute rounds of exhibitions. Well, Artango's uh, father was a senior public service servant in New Guinea. Uh, and, of course, Dale's brother, Ernie Artango, has been a leading Australian amateur now for several years. And he's a class act. Excellent performer. He certainly is and uh, will be one of the main contenders in Australia's Commonwealth Games team to compete in Auckland in January. That's exactly right. One, to go. Hold on. one minute to go in the exhibition, one minute of the champ and uh, certainly the photographers snapping away here for a rare opportunity to see Jeff Fennec uh, really uh, mowing them down in his uh, uh, return to the boxing ring tonight on the, what is a special occasion for Brisbane. Capital of Queensland, certainly the capital of boxing in the nation tonight as Australia's Jeff Harding puts his WBC title on the line. 28 seconds left and you'll see the champ go here to finish off this exhibition. And uh, look at Jeff Fennick now, even though he's against the ropes, throwing plenty of leather. Dale Artango saying, where are they coming from? As Jeff Fennick shows the fans here at the Brisbane Entertainment Centre why he is a triple world champion. Beautiful, evasive action, using the head when he wants to leaning against the ropes now, coming towards the end of the exhibition. Well, Azuma Nelson, I know you're watching this uh, in Ohio. You're watching this telecast. Uh, you've just seen Jeff Fennick at work. He could very well be fighting you in a couple of months, so get ready. Yeah, there he is. Jeff Fennick, a great ovation. Even a standing ovation from the fans here that love the little champion.